hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to tokenize words using spacey so let's get started by importing space so let's uh, type import space and after that we should be able to uh, tokenize words so if you didn't saw the video on, uh, on which i showed you guys how to install spacey you should definitely check that out so let's create a new object called NLP, which is, been, which is going to be equal a spacey dot load. I'm going to load the English model. Okay. So after that, I should be able to. So let's create a sentence. And you guys need to convert this to Unicode. So let's say that I want to have a, a sentence such as this is a te text. Okay. So. I have this object sent. So if I want to see all the parameters that I have, I have those parameters. So doc returns document. If I type sent, I also return documents. If I'm going to access the first token, I could do this, which returns the first word. So to show all the tokens, I could do for token token and send and print token okay so it's very very simple as you guys can see it space is very uh interesting okay it's a very interesting uh pi library for natural language processing because it's very powerful it's it's amazing so as you guys can see i i could do uh, as, as I show you guys, uh, I could do this, uh, which will return uh, this. I, I don't think this is support indexing. Let me see. I pass the negative indexing text. And send um, zero one. Yeah, I don't think it supports indexing. Let me see. Yeah, it does support indexing. So if you guys are familiar with uh, Python indexing, uh, it's very simple to uh, work with this, okay? So since each, each object, each NLP object out automatically uh, process the file, you don't even need to call a tokenized function because as you guys can see here, when you associate a new NLP object, which is a space dot load object, okay, uh, it automatically does all the stuff in the background. So I don't even need to call uh, dot tokenize or something like that because I already have the tokens. So if I want to print, let me see. Let's convert this to a list. Yes, yeah, so if I convert this to a list, as you guys can see, I have all the tokens, okay? So it's pretty easy. It's uh, actually way more easy than using an other NLP libraries. So, okay, so for this video, this is it, this is it guys. I hope you enjoy and see you guys next time.